Taglines can become iconic or fall flat and never be seen or heard. Today, we're going to share some examples of good and bad B2B taglines, as well as tips on how to write a good tagline for your business. And there might even be a quiz to test your tagline knowledge. Taglines come in all shapes and sizes. They can be clever, like Southwest, you are now free to move about the country, or evocative, like what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, or fun, like Mazda Zoom Zoom Zoom. Notice that taglines always work best when there are the absolute last thing said to cap off an enjoyable message for the brand. It's like being on a first date, but rather than a whole evening, you only have three seconds to make an impression. One line to set yourself apart from every other person in the dating pool to win his or her heart. What do you say? More important, what does he or she want to hear? Will you melt hearts with tell me more about yourself or I have an IQ of 470? You do? <laughs> Taglines work the same way. They are your chance to tell your prospects you can be important to them in benefit-minded terms to differentiate yourself from competitors. This isn't a time for empty bragging, being too clever, or too cute. Good point, Michelle. Taglines can only perform one function well, and you have choices for that function. It can describe what you do, make a brand memorable, promise a benefit, claim a position versus your competitors, connect with consumers' emotional needs, or establish a call to action. If you're lucky, it can even be fun to say, something like Bounty, the quicker picker upper again. It's the last word polishing off the message. It firmly positions you as smart or unique or urgently needed to the consumer. Remember, it's not a headline. You have many choices. You can pinpoint how your product emotionally benefits consumers and play on that emotion, like L'Oreal's You're Worth It, or focus on a physical difference so consumers can find your product, like Duracell's, you can't top the copper top. Use a mission-based tagline if you offer multiple services or products. For example, GE's Imagination at Work, which then changed from their previous tagline to We Bring Good Things to Life. If you offer a complex service or a little-known B2B company, say exactly what you do. Hint, this is not permission to talk about yourself. Tell the customer what you will do for them. Only well-known companies can use image-based taglines, like McDonald's, I'm loving it, works because even a hermit in the Himalayas probably had a Big Mac last Thursday. So how do you know if your tagline is any good? Taglines allow you to stand out for one good specific reason, far apart from the commoditized competitors. This is especially true with low involvement purchases. For example, you're at the store and remember you need trash bags. You also remember being on your hands and knees cleaning up coffee grounds after one ripped. You saw a commercial for a more durable bag but can't remember the name. While you're scanning your options, it hits you, don't get mad, get glad. And voila, the commoditized section gets personal. B2B companies can take the same approach. Connect your tagline with the customer experience. What are they doing or wish they weren't doing that your product or service can help them with? Whatever you do, don't get sucked into general combinations of terms such as quality, service, passion, excellence, or the 150 years that you've been doing these things. A tagline that talks about me, me, me will turn people off before they look at your product. Another tip, which may seem backward to you, is that putting the customer first isn't unique or different. Tagline that states, we are consumer centric or service and quality just doesn't resonate with end customers. They don't even listen to those types of taglines. Why? Because it's overused and doesn't seem genuine when every other company is saying the same thing. The customer is probably thinking, what kind of company doesn't at least pretend to care about customers and quality? You may as well say, we won't kick your dog. Hmm, actually, that could be memorable. <laughs> We should also add, if you need to be reminded, the word solution is not a solution for your tagline. That word is so 1999. 
Don't listen to people who say, geez, quality is important. Shouldn't we mention it in our tagline? Only mention it if you want people to not care or remember your tagline. Go ahead, use the blank years of quality blank formula, mission accomplished. I couldn't agree with you more, Michelle. Until you make McDonald's or Apple status, your tagline has to be more specific and unique. Now for a little fun, let's see if you can match the company with the tagline. Here are three companies with not so great taglines. Can you match these taglines to the correct company? Number one, BF Goodrich Aerospace. Number two, Ernst & Young Financial. And number three, Sanyo. Match them to their taglines. A, quality in everything we do. B, affordable quality. And C, creating value through excellence in innovation, quality, and people. All right, pause the video here and see if you can match the taglines up. Restart the video when you're finished and ready for the answers. All right, how did you do? Here are your answers. Number one, BF Goodrich matches to C, creating value through excellence in innovation, quality, and people. Number two, Ernst & Young matches with A, quality is everything we do. Number three, Sanyo matches with B, affordable quality. Wow, those are horrible, they sound all the same. <laughs> all right, now here are some companies with memorable taglines. Can you match these up? Number one, Slack. Number two, Salesforce. And number three, Zoom. Taglines are A, where work happens. B, the world's number one CRM platform. And C, enabling the hybrid workforce. Again, pause the video here and see if you can match up the taglines. Start it up again when you're ready to see the answers. All right, here are the answers. Number one, Slack, where work happens. Number two, Salesforce, the world's number one CRM platform. And number three, Zoom, enabling the hybrid workforce. We hope you found that entertaining, but also insightful. If you can't remember a tagline that you've heard before, there's a reason. For B2B businesses, taglines can bring your messaging together and leave a lasting impact on your audience. A bad tagline won't destroy your business, but it certainly won't help you be remembered. Yeah, that's for sure. All right, well, please leave a comment below on how you're gonna take one of these strategies we discussed and create or update your tagline. We check our channel every day, so you can also leave questions you have in the comments below and we will get back to you. Thanks for watching this video, and if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for the latest videos on marketing strategy, tactics, and tips to help your business grow and revolutionize your marketing today.